Hey, Rick Tobin, the hotel broker, and I love to do interviews with people in the industry. And I'm here actually on the rooftop uh, of the Home Two Suites with Kira Polos in the fishing village in Pompano. And I want to introduce Kira to you and let her tell you a little bit about her background and maybe a story or two about oh, being in the hotel industry. Man, I don't know if you want my stories. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Kira Poulos, Director of Sales and Marketing for the Home Two Suites, True by Hilton, Pompano Beach Pier, also home of the Pier 6 rooftop. And I'm also the Area Marketing Manager for Driftwood Hospitality uh, with some of our local properties, including the Hillsborough Beach Resort, just north of us at Hillsborough Beach. Okay, so that's uh, <laughs> a mouthful. How, how, ma how many rooms are we talking about there? Uh, at this property, we have 150 rooms. 150, and then and then you've got the Another other property. Another 70 in Hillsboro. So, so, and how long have you been in the business? Oh, I like to say I'm a third generation hospitality kid. I come from a big Greek family of caterers and hospitality professionals. Uh, professionally, I've been doing this um, about 15 years. Uh, not counting, I think, underage deliveries from my uncle's deli as a kid. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and uh, and you, you're in 15 years. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm guessing you enjoy it. I love it. I love it. When I was in college, I started as a public relations major, and I wasn't loving it. And a friend said, uh, why aren't you a hospitality major? And I was like, wait, what's that? And they go, you know, like hotels, restaurants. Right. I was like, I can major in basically my family business. Uh, and at that point, I said, absolutely. I changed my major my next day and um, loved it. Received a business degree in hospitality management from James Madison University. Okay, so let me put you on the spot. So somebody who's just starting out in the career, maybe 20 years old. Uh, any thoughts on what advice you'd give them? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, I actually <laughs> serve on the advisory board for Broward College's hospitality department, so I feel like I give I guess, this advice a lot. <laughs> I guess you're not really too much on the spot. Give, give us some, <laughs> tell them what you tell somebody. Um, I do. You know, you have to want, you have to want to do it. You have to want to um, give people an experience. I know that's not the easiest thing to say, but we're creating memories for people in this line of work. Whether it's a family vacation or maybe they're um, traveling for fun, maybe they're traveling for business or bereavement, we're giving everyone an experience and you have to be willing to want to be part of people's experience and be a memorable, great part of an experience too. I love that because you realize that people are saving up maybe all year or maybe when you said bereavement, you know, some it may be an unexpected trip, but this is... Uh, an important, it's not just a hotel room that, that they're getting, it's a piece of their life and maybe something that, uh, maybe some people watching this have hotel memories that, that you have for a lifetime and they can be good or bad and, and you, you, it's so important to you that it be good. It <laughs> is, it is, absolutely. You know, traveling is how people experience the world. You know, you receive more of an education through traveling than you may ever do in a classroom and the fact that we get to be part of people's travels is an honor. All right, and t talking about part of people's travels, do you have any funny stories that you want to tell? Oh my gosh, so <laughs> I spent a good chunk of my early hospitality career doing catering and events, especially social events and weddings. Uh, I was in the DC market, Chicago, and now Florida. Uh, one of my Chicago hotels, I did get a call one day downstairs and a mother of the bride was so upset she couldn't get her microwave to work in her room. And I knew that the room she was in didn't have a microwave. So I said, can I, can I come up and see how I could assist you? And she said, sure, come on up. So I came up and had to very politely and professionally retrieve her food from the safe in her room. <laughs> but, uh, you know, there's lots of stories that have, uh, that have transpired over the years. I said, I could probably write a book if I ever had time to sit down and do it. Okay, so if you if you were starting over again, mm -hmm. would you do it? Would you, would you pick a different field? Would you pick the same oh, field? Oh, no, I would never pick a different field. I, you know, it's so so neat because I've, I've worked in private clubs, I've worked in hotels, restaurants. Um, and what's, what's neat about it is you always kind of wonder as you're going through your career, like, what lesson am I learning from this? Maybe you have a tough day at work or a tough client. And I always try to look to look in and say, what am I learning from this? What am I gonna take from this? And it, sometimes it's not for a decade later that I say, that's what that was teaching me at that time, or that's what I was getting from that experience. So I don't think there's anything as such as, such as a bad experience in our industry and hospitality, um, but it's what we do with it that's really important. And uh, it's 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 been an amazing industry for me. Very few people get to use their college degree for what they, what they actually practice in their career right. um, and I'm very fortunate that I've gotten to make a very fun job out of it okay wonderful and and one other one other question and I don't know if you if maybe this is not a good question for you maybe it is <laughs> but I deal with personally with a lot of people that are coming from 
all over the world. Mm -hmm. And they want to live here. They can afford to move here into uh, South Florida, into the United States. And But it's a little bit scary to buy a small independent hotel. Sure. Any thoughts that you'd give somebody that was coming and starting out or thinking about getting Ooh. into the hospitality industry? Sure, especially if you're purchasing a small independent hotel. I mean, we rely so heavily now on the internet for our travel needs. You know, we're not calling a travel agent as much as we used to. We're definitely not walking into a AAA and getting a highlighted map like we used to. Um, so we rely so heavily on the internet. So I think that your web presence, your e-marketing is such an integral component now to be savvy in that aspect of it, to help position your property in the best way in a digital presence is critical. And then being able to have the bandwidth to manage a, a digital marketing day to day for your property because that's how we communicate with our guests. I mean, our Pier 6 rooftop, our Hillsborough Beach Resort, the Home 2 Suites here in Pompano, um, our social media presences are very active and very engaging with our clients and potential travelers because that's how so many people communicate today. Okay, talking about that in technology, and, and again, I don't know when somebody's gonna be watching this because this stuff can last forever on the internet. <laughs> about two years ago, the world changed. It did. Uh, technology, fortunately, we had tremendous uh, technology and bandwidth uh, when, when the COVID pandemic hit. Uh, have, is there any change, industry-wide change, that you could think of that really you feel like is really impactful or gonna last or maybe something good that, that came out of uh, the way the world changed? Sure, um, I think that the world as a whole drew a big willingness to work remotely, which has greatly impacted the travel industry. Um, people are, I have friends, I have friends who've decided to move to Greece or Belize and now they work from there. They still work for their American company jobs, their corporate jobs, where they are able to work fully remote. But now they get to live a different lifestyle, they get to experience a totally different culture and they've been able to make those moves because a company that once made everyone sit in the office every day all day was able to pivot into a fully remote situation. And I've seen how it's enriched the lives of, of people I care about. And I think that it's really done that for so many more people than, than others realize. Having that remote aspect has allowed us to be able to travel year round and not during your two week vacation where you can work by day from your hotel or resort. And then you can go and enjoy a totally different way of life or culture. I love, the rest of the time. I love the articulate. I, I had no idea how she was going to answer ah. that question, but <laughs> but I love the answer because for my industry, it's totally changed. And we're sitting out here in February in uh, on the rooftop of uh, Kira's Hotel. Short sleeves. And short sleeves. <laughs> but uh, the world has changed where people can work here. There's probably people down there working on Wi-Fi by the pool here. They're in their rooms. They're sitting on the beach and you can work again, anywhere in the world. And, and frankly, my business selling hotels and selling uh, real estate, everybody thought, including me pretty much, that it was so highly dependent on the personal, in-person, shaking hands, looking people in the eye. And now we're all comfortable in the last few years looking people in the eye on camera mm -hmm. and on a cell phone. And I'm, I'm finding people buying from somewhere, another continent, uh, uh, a hotel, over the phone and being comfortable uh, seeing it and and the ability to work and for young people to be able to travel and work remotely they they tend to be more comfortable it seems like mm -hmm. with that but the ability to do that is just phenomenal how that's changed the world and i think with the pandemic too going touchless in a lot of ways has even increased efficiency in travel for hilton we have something called uh, a, a digital key so when you check in on your Hilton Honors app, you don't even have to stop at the front desk unless you want to see their smiling faces, which are always fabulous. Um, you can do a digital check-in on your app. It gives you a digital key that comes right off of your cell phone. You tap your cell phone to your door after it assigns you a number. You're in and out really without ever having to touch or see you know, another human being. So if you want to stay a little bit more remote, um, maybe you're coming in late, don't want to stop at the desk, you now have that, that digital key convenience which Hilton affords. I love it, what a great, great thing. And, and I, I'll bring up one other thing that I've noticed personally is when, bef before the pandemic hit, everybody was so, uh, room service and, and uh, your housekeeping was so important. 